do is the grammarian report and Aiden can do that right from her seat. So, uh, not surprisingly, one person used Eldritch because it's such a strange, eerie, weird, and unnatural word. So perhaps you'll be able to use it when describing the way someone's dressing or on Halloween or in a dream, who knows. So, uh, Arthur, you have three so's and an uh and an um. Rob, you actually were very clear. Harvey, I think you were clear. Julie, you had only one uh. God knows how many I had. Harvey, you used Eldritch in a funny way. Uh, Peter Ash, you had a so. Pete, you had one well. Lindsay, you had several uh and ums, but I think you get kudos for standing up at the field. Yeah, you. And Ramiro, you had uh, an ah uh, and an um, and also same thing to you. Amazing. Now we're going to the timing report very quickly. Brendan said about the theme, my big dreams for life come from smaller dreams to still find happiness. I want a career in biology, but I work in food services at the hospital. I am fulfilling one smaller dream to work in a, uh, in a healthcare place until I find a position with biology at the hospital. Brendan, can you yeah. give us the report? So, yes, so, um, well, pretty much everyone was on on time. The only comment that I have to make, really, is that the, the interruptions are between, some of them approached close to a minute, and, and if, if, that, if it adds up to five minutes, that's a chunk of the meeting, so this mm -hmm. is something to be aware of. Um, the the introduction at the beginning with two guests did run about three minutes and thirty seconds, so that's about as long as you should go, really go at the beginning. Um, but all the other times were well within the time, um, so we did a good job. Okay. And now the general evaluation, which uh, is going to be done by Al. Al said. If I spent less time daydreaming and more time working productively, I'd be better off. Welcome, Al. Thank you. I want to apologize to everybody for my having come late. That's not the standard we want for ourselves. Another comment, a general comment about everyone here, almost everyone, not everyone, some people here, it's important not to speak into the microphone like this because half of what you're saying is lost into the void. It's really important to hold the mic up close so it actually works, works and helps you. Arthur, that was a wonderful introduction with the singing. And Aileen, that, that's a great word. Eldritch, I never heard the word before. When you said, when you said dreaming, I thought of phantasmagorical, but that would be, that has its own set of problems. <laughs> Julie, you're, uh, uh, this is the evaluation of the evaluation. Did Ash, like, could, um, He left. He had to leave early. Okay. He was sitting here. All right. Then we'll go to, uh, to, to Peter. You, I, I, I thought your evaluation of Kai was fair. Um, and it, uh, it's a very different experience between looking down at notes and reading, reading notes kind of to myself, as opposed to talking to you, and to talking to you, and to talking to you directly. We've had a lot of conversations. I've never known you to look at notes when you're talking to me. And the same, you can have the same effect, same experience talking to a group of people. You can talk to people individually and collectively. That's one of the magical things about public speaking. And I know, I've, I've heard you speak enough to know that you have a lot to say, and you, re you have a big heart, and there's a lot, a lot you can present, and I'm looking forward to hearing, hearing this. <clears throat> general, any general comment about uh, your speech, Julie? 
I enjoyed it. It gave me and other people here a chance to learn a little bit more about you. I also felt like it was all over the place. Like it was the childhood, it was the, it was the, the career, it was, it was how to ride a bicycle. Things I, things I didn't know about you or would have known about you. That whole, the whole idea of riding a bicycle in a group, in tandem, whatever you, whatever you call it like that, that could, have, that could be a metaphor for other things in life, which might be a direction to go at another speech. I don't know. How are we doing in the time, by the way? Because I know we're pushing it close to the end. We are close. We are close. No, we're about three anyway. Okay. I'm going to turn it back over. It's yellow. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to turn it back over to the Toastmasters. Thank you, Rob. So we are on. We are on time, despite uh, all of the content of the meeting. So I'm going to uh, ask Rob in. Um, substitute for Robert to tell us about the upcoming schedule. Thank you very much, Mr. Toastmaster Arthur. Hello again. This is a new role for me. 